The Sendai Media Tech was designed by architect Toyo Ito in the city of Sendai, Japan, and constructed between the years 1997 to 2000. Ito's design was chosen out of 235 competitors in an international competition for the design of a media library to grant free access to the public. The building contains three main elements of composition, 13 reticular columns, six horizontal planes, and an eternal skin. The idea that inspired Ito to design this building was an image of something floating in an aquarium. The entire building is a metaphor of an aquarium. The columns representing seaweed, the transparency of the building representing water, and the skin of the building enclosing it all. The building consists of seven floors and two basements. The 13 tubular columns, which are each a different size, shape, and angle, are set skylights that allow natural illumination into all the floors, which makes the building energy efficient. There are also rotating mirrors that were installed in the upper part of the two central columns that reflect natural light into the lower floors to allow control of internal illumination, reducing year-round climate control costs. The MediaTek protects, conserves, and uses natural and built resources. It also provides healthy environments for users and reduces the environmental impacts of building, construction, and operations of future generations. By having sustainable qualities, the MediaTek will last longer, cost less, and do better for society. It will not fail to provide for the people of the future. This modern library is welcoming, open, and fluid place of technology and ethos design reinforced that. It was created to embrace the digital potential of the world, and it is a place for the realization of knowledge. Access to the library is free, and this exemplified by Ito's design because the building is so transparent and inviting to the public. Ito's design was chosen out of so many competitors because his scheme was focused on fluidity, and he didn't view media as a foreign component to nature. The simplicity of the building counteracts the complexity of the action that occurs inside the media tech. Ito wanted to create a place that welcomed the public, not just to use its facilities, but also to encourage people to embrace technology and environmental care. Toyo Ito succeeded in creating unity between the design of his project, human behavior, modern technology, and environmental conservation. 